this time we're going to be taking a look from the Series 6 of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. We'll be, we'll be taking a look at the Phoenix. You can see the statistics and write-up for Phoenix and the other figures in this wave. You may notice that Phoenix, for some reason, was not pictured on the back of the card, and neither is her variant, which would be, of course, the Dark Phoenix. Just the same figure, except the green parts are now painted red. Let's take a look at the figure. The figure is basically the same Electra and Black Cat body with a few little uh, details added. Her hips and upper thighs have been replaced with these ball joints. Aside from that, the arms and the legs from the thigh down are the same. You do have this kind of, her hair is kind of soft and uh, rubbery. It actually feels quite hollow in there, even though there's, looks like she's got a lot of hair on there. Nice full bodied head of hair. The paint is pretty good. She's got nice green eyes. The hair orange hair has got some really weird um, what looks like dirty hair in there because um, it's got like brown in it. The yellow at the top of her boots here doesn't match her thighs exactly. You can see some of the green coming out from um, below and the same on her little phoenix symbol on her chest there. She does have a hole in her back. Unfortunately, it is not deep enough for many of the uh, the clear plastic stands to uh, fit into. But thankfully, she does come with her own stand. It's the phoenix effect made of a very nice clear translucent orange plastic with uh, painted red and yellow details. It's nice that it has this clip on here that clips around her waist and you can either use it as a stand on a flat surface or if you want to it has the holes for mounting it on a vertical surface here. So, um, neat stand. And uh, getting into articulation, her head goes forward and back and left and right. Her neck is a little bit long though. She has the extra shoulder joint here that helps her to raise the arm or raise her arms. Her shoulder does still go in and out and she swivels at the bicep twice here and here just like Electra and Black Cat. She's got a double jointed elbow. She rotates at the forearms, mid forearm her wrists bend forward and back and her fingers are articulated together. She has an ab crunch but it is very loose I've come to find. So she, she does tend every once in a while to flop over which puts her off balance. And like I said instead of the sort of straight out to the side hip joints she has these ball joints um, that you can 
both go out to the side and rotate uh, forward so you can rotate her thigh upper thigh to um, get her leg going forward and she also rotates at the mid thigh she has a double knee joint she rotates at the calf there she bends at the ankle forward and back uh, she has the ankle pivot and she has a toe joint as well she is fairly poseable but with the double thigh joint here um, it is a little annoying compounded with the hip joint there she may be a little bit hard to pose so anyway you may think that I'm gonna talk to you about Jean Grey well uh, I'm actually gonna talk to you about the Phoenix Force um, the Phoenix Force was is a bunch of psionic energy that became sentient and was the guardian of, of the McCran crystal and it, it existed only as a form of energy that had adapted into the form of a phoenix after um, meeting a magician from earth by the name of Pharon. Pharon worshipped the phoenix and the entity uh, took its um, took its form from his mind. Uh, the entity did sense Jean Grey's power when, uh, as a young girl, she used her telepathic power to link minds with her dying friend um, and was on the verge of Jean was on the verge of dying herself, uh, losing her mind and crossing over to uh, whatever is next for people in the Marvel Universe. And the Phoenix used its power to uh, separate the two minds, thus saving Jean from... Uh, from moving on. The Phoenix took an interest in Jean Grey because of her power and thus heard Jean's cry for help as she was piling the crashing shuttle, space shuttle, um, unshielded from radiation. So the Phoenix once again intervened on her behalf transformed the dying Jean into a new body and called herself the Phoenix. As Phoenix renewed her association with the X-Men and she repaired the fractured McCran crystal, uh, for a while she thought the X-Men were dead because they were separated after a battle with Magneto. And thus she went in on to a a vacation trying to uh, deal with the loss of not only her friends but her lover Scott Summers and on her vacation she ran into all these men who helped her uh, get over her loss um, and uh, what she didn't know then was all part of a plan by both Mastermind and the White Queen Emma Frost to uh, basically brainwash her into joining their inner circle of the Hellfire Club, a secret society whose inner circle was all made up of uh, super-powered beings. And uh, off to uh, basically become masters of the world. Although she, at this point, she was reunited with the X-Men uh, before f this um, brainwashing took full effect. Um, yeah, she was corrupted by Mastermind and Emma Frost 
and became the Black Queen. She did eventually break the control that they had over her, and, but it was too late. The Phoenix had been corrupted by all the evil thoughts and actions that she had done under the influence of the Hellfire Club. It was corrupted and turned into the Dark Phoenix. And as Dark Phoenix, she destroyed a, um, a star with a planet and a Shi'ar ship that was uh, in the same star system. And uh, the Shi'ar or Galactic Council came up and decided that she would not be allowed to survive. However, that was turned over to a trial by combat. The X-Men entered into combat with the uh, Imperial Guard of Shi'ar. She felt herself becoming evil again, and rather than cause any more loss of life as the Dark Phoenix, uh, Jean Grey seemingly sacrificed herself um, as Cyclops watched. However, that was later retconned. Um, that whole story was retconned into the uh, idea that the phoenix that we had seen and uh, read all about her, uh, the adventures of since the crash um, was not really Jean Grey, but a perfect copy of Jean Grey. And they did find... Jean Grey in a sort of stasis field in the Hudson, uh, or Jamaica Bay, I guess, is where the shuttle crashed. Now, the Phoenix Force uh, was not fully destroyed. Others have hosted its immense power. For instance, a, a bit of it was in Jean Grey's evil clone, uh, Madeline Pryor. There's Rachel Summers, who was the daughter of Jean Grey and Scott Summers in an alternate timeline. A bit of the Phoenix Force also resides in Corvus, who ancestor once, once possessed a uh, piece of the Phoenix Force and created a, a super blade, a super sword called the Blade of the Phoenix. So Corvus was kept from this this blade of the Phoenix um, by the Shi'ar until they sent him to kill Marvel Girl with it. Uh, the bad decision because when they hooked up together, they literally hooked up together, and uh, he switched teams on the Shi'ar. So that's it for Phoenix, and stay tuned for some more Marvel Legends reviews, and until my next video, I'll see you.